Good morning all. This is the Burlington High School in Burlington, Vermont. It is contaminated with polychlorinated biphenyls, also known as PCBs, and will be demolished in January 2023. I've been granted special permission by Tom Flanagan, superintendent of schools at the Burlington School District, to film the interior of a building, only a building. This is a building right here. Frankly, uh, probably the most dynamic of the buildings. It houses the auditorium, the cafeteria, the gymnasium, the music room, the music de and orchestra departments, and um, uh, the, the principal's office. It has a lot of the, this is the main entrance to the school. Now I've been granted permission to film the auditorium, the gymnasium, and the cafeteria. So that's pretty exciting. The, uh, I will have a, I'll be with a representative of the Burlington School District and uh, super excited about that. Now, let's be clear, this does not look like a high school as we would know it with, with the desks and chairs and all that stuff. I don't expect it to. This is a snapshot in time from December 30, 2022. So I don't want you to get your hopes up on that. But, um, but yeah, that's exciting. By the way, this bell from uh, from a, an earlier rendition of a Burlington High School will be preserved. So I'm super excited about that. I was, uh, and and they're also saving different um, plaques about different uh, teachers and whatnot. And as you may recall, there's a a plaque over here uh, dedicated to uh, Paul Daniel. Mr. Daniel was my principal when I was a student here and I have a video because I found his grave and um, he's buried in the village cemetery in Shelburne, Vermont. And on that note, let's um, let's go in and, and take a look see, shall we? All right, see you inside. Alrighty, well I am in the auditorium at Burlington High School. Alrighty, it has changed so much. It's carpeted. Look at this. And it's really nice looking carpet too. I'm being escorted today by someone with the school district, uh, which I really appreciate. And uh, the, so she's asked not to be in, on camera and I will honor that. So this clothing you see here and on the stage and in front of the stage, those are all costumes that were stored here in the auditorium. And these boxes here, are, I mean, they're just finding stuff after stuff after stuff after stuff after stuff because the high school is stuffed. <laughs> wow. Look at that backdrop. Isn't that amazing? Wow. It's really nice. I'm guessing it's painted, it was painted by teachers with the help of some students or maybe the other way around. The number of teachers who would help with these productions was always phenomenal to me. They'd come in on weekends and, I mean, you know, they worked Monday through Friday and then they'd come on weekends to uh, help. Uh, now, when I was here, Miss O'Brien was the uh, director of the um, plays and musicals and Mrs. Kalinowski, a history teacher, was the choreographer. And she knew how to hoof it, let me tell you. As to this day, I don't understand how to shuffle off the buffalo, but she did. <laughs> yeah, she sure did. Um, let's see if I can shed a little more light on this. Well, there we go. That's a bit better. Um, wasn't sure how bright it would be in here, so I uh, opted to bring a flashlight. It's actually a headlamp. All right, and I think you can see better this clothing here. Let's, uh... Wow, look at this stuff. Wow, I wonder how old these, this clothing is. Wow, look at that price, 99 bucks. I'm sure they got that on discount. All right, let's go up on the stairs. 
What the heck? Looks like a rowboat. Let's go up on stage, get a better view of what this place looks like. <laughs> uh, not a good look. Looks like I sat on it. Well, man. And up there is a catwalk. I would never went up there. I'm afraid of height. So I never went up there at all. Oops. I don't remember anything like this being stored back here. Maybe it's just back here uh, because it makes sense for it to be here while they while they uh, continue to clean it out. This is a curtain weight. There we go. So the way it works is is uh, when they close the curtain, you see it's got the uh, wiring all the way up, not wiring, the uh, pulley mechanism all the way up. It's just All right. Look at this sea of shoes and hangers and, wow, it's just an uh, insane amount of stuff. They have a, a light box now up at the uh, ticket booth, which did not exist when I was a student here at all. Some neat stuff though. Oops. And so well lighted. I can assure you when I was a student, it was not that well lighted. Only one more thing I want to see up here. Then I go, go back, head back down. Ooh, ugly, tacky furniture. These um, electrical panels sell PCBs where we find them. We would find them in electrical equipment. Uh, we would find them um, in fluorescent lights. We would find them in, uh, if there's any uh, hydraulics here, there could be any, any hydraulic oil. <laughs> I like this. Shh, don't wake the sleeping dragon, she bites. Yeah, we were always being admonished to be quiet. I was on stage crew. All right. Ooh. Well, you know the drill. You know the social media stuff, I know you do, but for those who are new to my channel, I'm on all the social media you are. I'm traveling for History One Ellen Traveling on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and so my YouTube channel. But on uh, Twitter, I'm traveling for High One, traveling for HI Numeral One. So follow me anywhere you'd like. I'd appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel. I would love that. And until I see you again, this is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. Thanks so much for watching. Truly appreciate it. Bye.